let me ask both of you as even the part of even that we're talking about this because of the wreck efforts of the surge as it was called well, I think, you know, clearly the surge has led to declines in violence. Uh, the threat posed by the elements uh, related to al-Qaeda in Iraq, for instance, has, has decreased. The one thing about the surge that, that hasn't actually improved was the central objective, which was moving forward Iraq's political transition. And we, we have a paper coming out at the Center for American Progress talking about this, that if you actually look at the intra-Iraqi politics on this U.S. security agreement, but also on a whole range of issues. It hasn't substantially moved forward, and that should be troublesome to, to a lot of people. So I think uh, we're talking about this, yes, because there's been declines in violence, but I also think we're talking about this because the Iraqis are in a stage where they're seeking to assert their sovereignty. They want control over their country again, and that's the most interesting thing. Democrats in Congress had been pushing for timelines for two years. It wasn't until the Iraqis have said, we need this timeline uh, for our own political purposes, for our own purposes at home, that the administration has actually said, okay, we agree to a timeline. Colonel Noggle? 